thought I'd make a little short video um, on propellers. I've got a huge assortment of propellers that I've been trying out and I've kind of found some that I really like and some I don't care for at all. So I figured I'd do a little quick video. Um, let's start off with the ones I really don't like. Uh, I got some of these cheap ones here on eBay or uh, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. They're uh, cheap plastic and they are extremely flexible. Granted, they are the lightest propellers out of everything that I have here, but then again, when you throttle up on these, they are just going to flex and bend and probably break on you. So very, very weak. It's probably also going to create a lot of uh, wobble or jello in your video. So uh, I would not recommend these at all. They were like 2 or $3 for a pair. So I was like, well, they're cheap. I'll try them out. Um, on the same suit, this ones are some glow-in-the-dark propellers. So yeah, they'll actually glow. So if you want a cool look at night, they're about the same kind of construction, build, and design. You can see the hub on it is probably a little bit smaller than these other ones. They're also about $3. I got them on ready-made RC website. So readymaderc.com is where I picked these up at. They're pretty cheap as well. I think $3 or so for a pair. Um, but once again, extremely flexible. So if you just want to do some light flying, you're not carrying a lot of weight, um, take off all your everything off your quad. If you have a camera, a gimbal, FPV gear, like strip it down naked and then maybe, you know, fly with these just for just for light fun, nothing aggressive flying whatsoever. Um, then I've also got some carbon ones I picked up. And these I got on the X aircraft. Uh, this is called cnchelicopter.com. And they're pretty nice. They actually come pre-balanced. I don't know if you can see on this one which one of these. They, they've actually been balanced and machined. Well, just sanded so that they're, they come pre-balanced. And they're pretty nice. I can't remember what I paid for these. Uh, like 15 or 20 at most for a pair. So they're a little more expensive, but they are pretty nice. They're carbon. They're extremely lightweight um, and fly really well. I also got these just plain Jane APCs. They also look quite light. They're actually about double the weight of these uh, Amazon ones. But once again, these are a lot tougher. Um, for as light as they are, they're actually kind of stiff for a plastic propeller. These are about 7 or $8 for a pair, but they fly really well. They don't really need to be balanced at all. They're Because they're an injection molded plastic, they just work really well out of the box. I really like these. These are probably my favorite propellers for for being as cheap as they are. Uh, let's see what else we got. I got these wooden ones here I haven't tried yet. I'm anxious to try these out. I was just waiting for my quad to get all synced and locked in and then I'll try these out. Um, I'm really excited to try these new T-motor props. These are a wood. These have been made like through a CNC water jet machine. I have some really nice wood. They're extremely lightweight. They weigh, man, they're probably as light as some of these plastic propellers. Um, amazing, amazing looking props. They also have a, uh, they lock down with this cap here. So you just twist them on, either whether they're clockwise or counterclockwise, you just spin them on. You do need a short shaft, T motors to make these work. And then these ones here, these gem fams, I picked these up recently also from ready-made RC and these are extremely rigid these things are stiff as can be I flew these last night and they fly very very well it was extremely smooth and that's what I have on the quad right now simple DJI F450 with different arms uh, well, a whole lot of different everything different motors T motors 2814s I think they're 710 kilovolt running on a four cell setup with the Nasa V2 GPS Anyways, give uh, thought everyone could use some info on propeller styles and what to look for, what not to look for.